Hello everybody. I'm going to make SOS shit on a shingle uh, chip beef and gravy. And this is a favorite of mine because it's something I used to have with my dad. It's one of the few memories I have. My real dad, he was Navy and so that's where I had this stuff. I think everybody has had it different places. But it's really good, so we're going to use this. There's only two different kinds of dried beef at our store. So I'm going to use this, and you want to rinse it. It's really salty. Unless you like really salty, then you don't need to rinse it. Or you cannot use salt in this and let it simmer for a bit and it will salt the gravy for you. Whatever you want to do. <coughs> so first we are going to take a half a stick of butter, which is four tablespoons. <coughs> I'm sorry. It went from 70 to like 20 and it's just, is that how people get pneumonia? I don't know. So we're going to get this melting. Are you all staying warm and cozy? I don't know where it's actually warm. I mean, even Florida and California are cold. Pineapple experience breast has started. No telling what we'll all get from that. I think it's going to snow on our anniversary Tuesday. <laughs> I don't want it to snow. They need to open a winter clothing store here, man. Winters are going to start being like this. So basically, for gravies and such, when you're using a fat, flour, and liquid, it's pretty much equal parts. Equal parts fat to your flour to your liquid. So I'm using four. So I have four cups of milk, four tablespoons of butter, and I'll add four tablespoons of flour here in a second. While this is going, I will get my meat cut up. Oh. Wonder where I put my can opener, my church key, whatever everybody calls those things. was going to have a problem. A big bag of flour right there. So all I'm going to do is Leave it stacked like that and cut it into strips. And if you want to stretch it, so 
it appears to have more meat because you can make as much gravy as you like. Let's cut it in half again. Easy peasy. goes Bella. She barked at the TV. Let me get this done so I can get flour in there. Okay, so there's our dried beef. There's our melted butter. not to put my tripod on the burn. <laughs> oh, it's a heavy, heavy bag of flour. taste out of it. Ooh, I had somebody make some nasty comment on my sausage and gravy. Berated me saying I did it wrong. Well, if I did it wrong, you better tell every southerner that I know they did it wrong. <laughs> They're the ones who taught me. Now I'm going to add liquid. Just that about. Get, make sure you don't have any lumps. And if you use a cold liquid, when you add it, you should have no lumps. <laughs> use a <coughs> excuse me. Use a hot liquid and only put little bits at a time. It'll stiffen up really fast, and it's just you have to work harder with it. I find this to be the easiest. And when this comes up to a bubble, it's going to start thickening. And you can save these little glasses for juice and stuff. I'm starting to think that's where we got our juice glasses back in the olden days. Got orange juice in the morning. You got that. I'm going to pepper it. You can add as much or as little pepper as you like. My husband likes a lot of pepper. Essentially, what you've made here is a bechamel white sauce. So, from this point, I mean, after it thickens, you could add cheeses and all kinds of things for homemade mac and cheese. Uh, you can make all different kind of potato dishes. It's just it's kind of your mother sauce for a lot of other sauces. So I'm going to let this come up to a simmer. You want to make sure it cooks the flour taste away. And uh, I'll be back when we add the meat and see how thick it is and all that jazz. So I'll see you in a minute. So we're thickened up now, as you can tell. Mm -hmm. 
definitely need salt. So now, make sure I whisk out any little, any little lump that might be in there. I'm just going to let this simmer now. I'm going to add the meat. And since I didn't rinse it, I'm not going to add salt until after this has simmered for a little bit. Make sure all your meat is pretty well separated. Separated! going to look like there's a lot of meat in here since I cut it in half and that stretches your dollar this is a really cheap meal you can have it with the salad vegetable whatever I'm just gonna put it over toast you can put it over biscuits or mashed potatoes or rice or whatever you like and like I said this is salty so I'm just gonna let it simmer with this meat on low want to make sure it doesn't taste floury and I'm gonna let this meat go ahead and salt the uh, gravy so let it simmer for five or ten minutes just put it on really low you don't want the bottom to scorch and I hope a lot of people aren't catching pneumonia and stuff I it's a weird thing with our temperatures going from 70 to 20s and 17 in one day we went from it was 70 something degrees and then it started storming, thunderstorms, like spring storms. And then it dropped to 17 degrees and went to ice in the same day. It was crazy. And it just did the same thing. It was 70 degrees Thursday and dropped to 30. So I'm going to let this simmer and we will put it on toast when it's ready. And if it gets too thick, you can always add some milk. Oops, I'm sorry, bumped you in the head. If it gets too thick, you can always add more milk. You can do this to your desired thickness. So there we go. Just let that cook. Let that meat marry into that sauce. And we'll plate it up when it's ready. Okay, so we're ready. There we go, guys. And I think it has plenty of salt from the meat, but if you want more salt, you can add it. If you want more pepper, which my husband will. I have my little plate made over here. My mouth is watering. I'm going to taste it. I don't know why there's a shadow there. Let's taste this. I'd be smoking hot. I always burn my mouth when I taste the food. 
I'll waste. That's good. I like it. Comfort food on a cold night. So if you have any questions, post them down below. If you haven't subscribed, think about doing so. Um, click that bell, it helps. Leave a comment. And stay warm. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.